What is going on YouTube Horror here and I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make realistic grass and landscape in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. You're going to want to start off by getting a cube and making the dimensions about 2000 by 200 by 2000 making the segments about 80 and 1 and 80. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit and change the angle here. And now we're going to want to um, go and make a material. And we're going to make it a dark brown. And oops, I meant to do gradient. <laughs> uh, we're going to want to make it a dark brown and then a little bit lighter brown that looks pretty good and then we're gonna go to bump texture surfaces and earth and we're gonna put this up to about 50 and now we're gonna go to gonna go back here and turbulence and we're going to put that up to about 40 uh, and now we're done and then we're going to put this just on here and if you'd like you can put some bump on here with the um, magnet tool uh, but since I'm using a later model of Cinema 4D uh, I'm in a later, later version it's not going to work you'd have to be using R13 or above so I'm sorry I can't show you that, but what we, what you do is make uh, the cube editable and then right click here and go to magnet and then put some bump on there. So now we're going to want to go and have this selected and go to simulation, hair objects, and fur. And you see these little spiky white things. That is what your grass is going to be. And we're going to want to put the count up to about 175,000 and put the length to about 100 and now we're going to want to go to the material and go to texture gradient and make it a green dark green and then make it a light green And then we're going to want to go to kink, and you can just click that. And then you can have frizz, but I'm not going to put that. And then variation, put that to like 75. And, um, you can have frizz, but I'm not going to have that on. And I'm going to go back texture and that's good that's good and now if you were to render it it would look very 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 very, very bad because there's no lighting so it would there's just like it not does not look good so what you're gonna want to do is put some lighting by making a physical sky this is the best realistic look for lighting so what you're gonna want to do is go to object sky create sky and now we're gonna go to time and location um probably about seven I guess Um, you can just follow this. I'm going to use like some warm colors. Um, sun looks good. Um, time. I'm going to do July. April 
so I'll just use June. Um, I'm gonna see what this looks like. I'm, I'm gonna pause it until it's done rendering, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, you can see that this is not, you know, like the best lighting or best materials or anything. But if you monkey around them with them and you know use it correctly, this still looks pretty realistic. But you know, it's definitely not 100%. Um, I could, I just did it really quick. But if you monkey around with all my settings, uh, you know, you can make it look even better. So I hope this helped, guys. And you know, if it did, please leave a like. Um, if it didn't, um, you know, you can dislike it if you'd like, so, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more comments, or more of my content, um, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I guess that's about it, guys, so, hope this enjoyed, peace out, guys.